I'm gonna need to run away now, if you don't mind. This is the way you really need the death mask. After this, you can basically just leave Richard be eaten. That's pretty cold, and Jill's not gonna do that. Jill is, however, going to run around like a madman until Richard kills this thing for her. Richard, you are still alive, right? You know, it's sort of an ammo saving tactic. Ah, damn it, I knew that. I'm poisoned. Yeah, of course I am. There we go. Finally. Who? good thing it's dead. And not still alive. And dead. And not still alive. And dead, and... oh. Richard, you seem to be a little bit... Oh. That's, uh, unfortunate for you. Now, at this point, you can basically just run away, but it just means you will eventually have to kill this snake, and he'll have more health later on if you don't kill him now. So, instead of having a really hard fight later, I'm gonna... How did he hit me? Someone answer that. He was facing the wrong... Urgh! What? No, use. There we go. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to combine this with my acid rounds, and then make you eat a little bit of acid. You know what, actually? Nah, I'm not gonna waste acid on you. Are you dead? Oh. Well, that was easy enough. I still got poisoned, but... Assault Shotgun. That's why I didn't reload the other one. Because this one has four more uh, shots that you can... has four plus greater capacity, and it's slightly more powerful. So, you know, get in. Alright, uh, is that everything? Yes, it looks like it is. Alright, we can now say we have officially killed a giant snake. Well, Richard killed it. Well, then it killed him. Then we killed it. Sometimes, Barry will come and save you. I think. But... But I don't think he's going to this time. No, of course not. Barry, I hate you. So, Richard's dead, and there's now a zombie here. Which I totally just dodged, because I am amazing. Alright, so let's run all the way back to the medical room to go get serum. probably get attacked and eaten by forest along the way and then have to do all this over again, but, you know, whatever. Pretty soon, though, forest is gonna be gone and we won't have to worry about him anymore. So I think once you leave the mansion for the first time, he disappears. Or at least I hope that's the case. God damn it! I'm never able to dodge him there. Well, I mean, usually I am, but not this time. Probably because I'm hugging the wrong wall. Oh well. 
What's my health like? Ah, it's pretty low. Ah, I guess I'll use... Yeah, I won't risk running to the one on the balcony. I'll just use herbs here. I seem to have plenty of them. up here since I don't need it. Um, gotta decide now. Take that. And this and this. should be good. Save again. Special instructions when disposing of dead bodies. We have new- I didn't know this was here. We have new information regarding these be those beings. Well, I mean, I did, but I forgot about it. They may appear to be dead, but in fact are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Current method- Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration, destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, they will be notified. We will, they will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You will need something to lie with, which you'll need to find by yourself. You'll need a canteen and a lighter. Anyway, so that's in case you didn't know about the crimson heads. Alright, so let's get out of here. I'm not going back up the forest way again. Um, let's see, where do I need... Okay, so... Alright, I think I know where I need to go. I have the final two death masks, so... It's time to go back down into the coffin room. Yes, the epic running through rooms we've already been in. It's really the problem with doing Let's Plays of Resident Evil games. In case any of you out there care about the, you know, problems us, us Let's Players face with games like this. So... Yep, walking down a staircase. Alright. There we go. Alright, last one. I probably should have dumped that off. That would have been the smart thing to do. But, uh, I guess I want to keep the encrypting with me. Oh well, I seem to have plenty of inventory room. Uh oh. Crimson head. Wait for him to get closer. And then pop. I do not believe that he's dead. Now I believe he's dead. Yep, he's dead. And this is... Hanga Magazine, not bad. Yes! And this is the item we need to escape the mansion. 
Let's get out of here. Running back up the staircase. Let's see. No, I'm still on fine. Back through here. Finally get out of this dreary place. And go in the one last door that we haven't gone in yet. And I think this is going to be this is, I'm sure, the very final encounter with Forrest. Ha! Ah, did you like that dodge? His head seemed to phase into the door there. But, you know, whatever. <laughs>